Okay, thanks. I'm going to hand it off to Glyson now to speak uh, to speak to section three. Thanks, Yvette and Jenny. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Yvette said, my name is Glyssa Robles, and I am the Principal Construction Relations Officer for Section 3. This map in front of you shows what the tunnel will look like from Century City to the Westwood UCLA area. We have had questions in the past about where the tunnel will go um, and what streets it will tunnel under. And um, we did see a question earlier, and Casey did answer, uh, to let everyone know that the tunnel boring machines are still being um, assembled at the VA station. And once they're ready to start their tunneling, they will go east and meet eventually in the Century City uh, Constellation Station. Next slide. Here is our tunneling schedule. And just as I said, uh, we're getting ready to start tunneling very soon. Here's a look at our station entrance on the corner of Wilshire and Gailey. And the station entrance on the north side of Wilshire and Westwood. And here is the station entrance, which is a little bit smaller um, on the south side of Wilshire Westwood. And this is still a draft rendering. It may change um, in the coming months. Here's an overhead look of what the Westwood UCLA station box looks like under Wilshire Boulevard. You can see that it spans from Westwood Boulevard just to the middle of the block between Veteran Avenue and Gailey Avenue. Um, the shaded areas in yellow and blue show the station entrances that we showed just earlier. And here's a look at our tentative station schedule. We're in the middle of our city sewer and storm drain relocation, and we do anticipate starting piling later this summer. Um, most of you uh, may have seen that we've been doing a lot of work at the UCLA lot 36. This is what the work zone looks like between Veteran Avenue and Gailey Avenue. Um, the UCLA trees have been removed and um, we're still putting up the sound walls and fencing. And in a couple weeks, we will install the Veteran Avenue driveway um, for lot 36 to allow for maintenance access. And um, earlier in April, we did start our sanitary sewer and storm drain relocation at the intersection of Wilshire and Gailey. These different colors on the map show the different stages and um, the work is scheduled uh, for full weekends, um, Friday to Monday. However, there will always be at least one lane um, of traffic open on Wilshire Boulevard at all times. And over at Wilshire Westwood, we are continuing um, the storm drain relocation as well. And uh, we're still moving along with the stages and we'll continue to update the stages and the work schedule online with our construction notices as we progress through the work. Now here is a look at the planned uh, tree removal for the city trees. Um, this is still in review with the city. They haven't been approved yet. If you can see those small green dots that shows the trees that have been proposed. Um, these trees need to be removed for station excavation and construction. And at the end of the project, um, the city will approve where we can uh, put the replacement trees. Now, I know you've seen this before. Um, we've talked about piling uh, with our other two sections. Um, this is just an example of what we did in Wilshire uh, in Beverly Hills. And so this is what piling will look like when we start later this summer uh, near Wilshire Westwood. And this is an example of what one of the workstations will look like. The pink and red areas show the workstations. And on the next slide, it shows 
um, during the off-peak hours. Ginny, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, on the off-peak hours, they'll bump out that workstation um, a little bit more, um, the, the work area, excuse me, so that they can continue those piling activities. And those green arrows in the lanes show where traffic can continue outside of the work zone. And this is uh, slated to start later this summer. Next slide. This is a look at the truck trips. Um, the, these blue arrows show what the truck route will be around in this area. And that 25 just shows what the FTA has approved. It does not mean that there will be a continuous 25 trucks every day. That's just um, the maximum amount of trucks that are allowed to go through the area. Next slide. And here's a look at our Westwood VA Hospital station entrance on the corner of Wilshire and Bonsall. And from the north side, you can see what the station will look like. We've got pedestrian access also on the corner of Wilshire and Bonsall, and you can see the hospital in the background. Here's an overhead look at what the future VA hospital station will look like. Um, on the east side, you can see that it's under the Caltrans area by the 405 ramps. And then to the west, it goes just west of Bonsall Avenue. And on the very left side of your screen, you can see the purple shaded area is where um, the tail tracked exit shaft is. And that's where our tunnel boring machines are currently being assembled. Here's a look at our station schedule. Um, we're getting ready to do um, more of our station utilities and station excavation very soon. Now here's a look at inside the um, tail track exit shaft. Uh, this is what the two TBMs look like. They're being assembled right now. And in the next coming weeks, we hope to start tunneling, um, as I said earlier, from this VA station and then moving east towards Century City. Now coming up later this year, we will be working with LADWP. Um, we need to work on the water line from Federal Avenue along Wilshire Boulevard to Bonsall. Um, so this work hasn't been approved yet. It's still in design. Um, if this map looks familiar to you, it's because these stages were also used during our SCE work with Southern California Edison, um, which is also wrapping up very soon. Next slide. And this map shows the detours that we've been using during that SCE work, and we'll also use the same detours as approved by the county. Um, while we're doing the work with DWP, um, there will have to be some intermittent closures of the Wilshire Bonsall ramps um, to the VA hospital campus. However, this detour shows that you can still access it from the south entrance of the VA campus. And here's a look at what our approved hall routes look like um, outside of the VA station. And then this is what it will look like as we progress uh, through the work outside of that lot 42 area. And then just another look at what the approved truck hauling trips look like along Sepulveda Boulevard. Next 